There was no script when I became attached, uh, so the book was sort of my script. I really loved that it was daring, and I loved that Veronica was brave in the risks that she took, and creating such a strong female heroine, and yet at the same time not making her seem larger than life, making her seem very relatable and very grounded. And I liked how truthful her characters felt, and I loved the relationship between Tris and Four. Well, what didn't we like? I mean, we, we've seen the final product What's and we're, we're really, really <laughs> excited about the way it turned out. I just read a story of a brilliant kind of concept that I got completely hooked into of that idea of young people choosing their future. That was just, that just hooked me. And then um, I, I didn't even think I was going to be a part of it. I just, I just read a script that I loved and then when I actually got to be in it, it rocked my world. Well, I think we look. Yeah, we I look, look a lot like. Yeah, we look. We got the uh, like faces. Peter. We wear the same underpants. Peter doesn't wear any underpants. Another little side note for his princesses. Out he there. goes commando. Uh, Peter goes commando. Right on. Which. This new. Info. For Caleb, um, it was a part of me that uh, I want to be the best I can be. I'm pretty logical, and um, I have a pretty straightforward path. Uh, I want to, you know, I want to be a successful actor. I want to be an artist, and that's what I'm going for. So for Caleb, the same sort of thing. You know, he wants to uh, better the the society. He wants to uh, he wants to learn. He wants to get knowledge. I like to learn things all the time, um, and uh, he 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 wants to do what's best. He's a fascist. Oh gosh, you know, we come on tour, and it's just screaming, screaming, screaming all day long, demanding mind games. <laughs> well, I think, listen, at the end of the day, I think any character that you portray and how you portray it, there's a piece of that person in you. Whether you play a psycho, whether you, if, if whether you play a school teacher, I, I think that, um, or a psychotic school teacher, you know, it's you. There's, there's you're always going to bring your life experience into a role. I think that I sort of saw him a lot in me when I was in high school. I battled this with the same sort of things, obviously, sort of entirely different worlds, but, uh, you know, characteristic stuff, yeah, uh, mental stuff that he was going through at the time, sort of um, not getting the girl, uh, not fitting in. For me, Will, you know, we're, we're definitely different people, but I could sense that we had a similar spirit. I think it's about drawing on those sides of you that you you see in the character. You know, in every character you play, you, you bring a bit of your own personality and then kind of use that to kind of push it in a certain direction. I, th I think we share some qualities, so I kind of draw on them. I have a quick temper and a problem with patience. <laughs> and I think Four has that. So, you know, using that and then also just, um, I, I just like the idea of someone who, is noble but is kind of has something dangerous about him at the same time he's kind of damaged by a checkered past. I related to this a lot because I'm a parent of young women so that really resonated to me so finding the commonalities you know, there was a lot of connection I felt to Andrew. I prepared similarly, read the script, obviously got a lot out of that, read the book. Actually, the dedication page of the book made a huge impression on me because Veronica dedicates it to her mother. Mm. And so that seemed to populate my soul. I dug it. I had a, had a big hand in uh, helping create that with, uh, with Neil and with our producers. And I know, I realize that it's somewhat different from the description in the book, but I think it's fair to say that we can take a little poetic license there. And uh, and yeah, we created something that um, you know, we thought was kind of cool. I would choose Dauntless, because I, I love the warrior aspect of it. Um, and they're just so, I mean, if I could choose to be a badass, I so would. But then the second that things started turning a little bit negative and kind of absent-mindedly evil, I would uh, I would opt out to become factionless, I could be sovereign. I would be divergent, because I, I couldn't sort of survive, I don't think, in one, with one label. I'd say Dauntless, like I would try, <laughs> right? And because and, it would be awesome and, and you'd, I would definitely try and be the bravest I could be and then fail. I mean, I want to say Dauntless, but I've just been saying that all day. I can't remember the names of them. 
It's Dauntless. I'd be in the Divergent faction. You would be Divergent. I'm, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, str I'm straight up Dauntless. I'm trying to get creative and, and change that response. Well, change it up. Change it, change it up. Maggie, please well, answer well, this. Well, we, we, we both think we are rooted in Dauntless. We don't think they cast it wrong, which is which is good. But but recently, we've been feeling a little bit candor. We've been feeling very candor. Just a candor. little bit candor. Yes. Just a touch. Just a touch of honesty <laughs> in, our, in the tone of our voice. A touch of honesty. I'd be in a new faction called the uh, Legend faction. No, uh, <laughs> I don't, don't even know what that means. There is a part of me that is fierce and loves to fight, and then there's a part of me that weeps with joy when I'm sitting in a classroom, and I kind of, it's embarrassing, but mean that literally. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm grateful to live in a time and place where I don't have to choose, you know, and I get to have the whole expression of myself. I mean, I, I don't think that I could choose one, you know, especially like as, as actors, like, and as human beings, we're all pretty divergent. Um, you know, we all would fit into a lot of places or over time change and not fit there anymore. Um, but if I had to, I would probably choose Amity just because the world's kind of a messed up place, this divergent world. And uh, Amity's based on kindness. And I think that's probably the, would be the most pleasant place to be.